Now we're going to go over the process of creating your DVD for delivery using Kanaki. Now Kanaki does a lot of things automatically for you once you set it up. You can see what they are if you're going to deliver a CD or a DVD, which in whichever case. You can see what they do for your manufacturing assembly, full color DVD printing, DVD case, full color one panel insert, full color DVD case cover, cellophane wrapping, UPC barcode if you need it, 24 hour rush manufacturing. And you get all that for $1.75 per DVD. So as you can see that's a really good deal. Now what you need to do is set up your account and to do that first thing you need to do is go to new customers and then all you do is you download their software that you use to design. So just click here to download the CD DVD publishing software. Once you get it downloaded, go ahead and install it. Okay, so here is the CD DVD publishing software that you're going to use. So click the green button to start. Okay, and here's where you can fill out your information and tell it what you're going to use as your source. So we're going to, in this case, use a video, but you can also use a audio, a game, or a data other. In other words, ebooks or something like that. In this case, we're a video. Okay, and then if you want to use a UPC code, you can. You can add a UPC code and Kanaki will actually create one for you. Then you can go ahead and fill out all of this other information or any of the information you want to put in here. The information that is absolutely required are in dark here. So the title, studio, and that's really all that is required from there. So go ahead and fill that part out. Okay, now we just click the green button here. This is where we're going to design our DVD case. So as you see over here, we can have auto design or custom design. And then we pick our disc type, which is DVD, and our case type, which is DVD. Now at this point, we could select our own image, or we can select one of their in-stock images. Now if your PLR product came with its own images, you might want to manipulate those images so that you have something you can use here that's more customized. Otherwise, you can go ahead and use a stock image. Okay, so let's just go with the auto design for now. So we can select one of their stock images over here, just click browse. And then there are different types you can choose from here. So you can go through and find one that you think fits well. Okay, so I'm just going to use a solid color in this case because I don't really see one that fits very well with what I'm doing. So you can go through, find one that you like, you can view the full product here. Okay, and there's what it's going to look like for you when it's done. Okay, so well, let's pick one here. Just select this template. Now it loads us in for us here. Now you can see that it picked up our information that we put in and put it on the DVD for us. Okay, at this point we click the green button again. Okay, now it's going to ask us for a DVD drive source, so it knows where it is. And since we have our DVD already in our disk drive, it picked up the files for us. Okay, so now we click Next. Now we click Save As. We fill out our name in here, whatever we want to call it, Basics of Internet Business in this case. Click Save. Click Next. Okay, and as you can see, it is compiling our product. So up here you can see the percent that's done. So this takes a little while for it to finish. Okay, as you can see, we're 99%. Okay, now we can launch our product. The master product has been completed and ready for testing and uploading to our facility. So it's saved to the location below and it's showing us where on our computer it's saved. Okay, so let's launch it. Okay, and it's showing us our information here. Here's the front of the case. We can open the case. Okay, here's the inside of the case and here is what our DVD looks like. Rotate the case.
Okay, and it shows us the different views we have. Okay, this is the back, that's the spine, and that's the inside. Now over on the left here, we can print the disk and the case, or we can extract the contents to a folder, and we can also record the contents to a DVD. Not much sense in doing that since we already have it on DVD. So if we click print disk and case, then we can pick the type of paper we want to use here. Click print and it'll come out on our printer for us. And we can click done. We can extract the contents to a folder here. We can browse for a folder and then we can extract it there. Okay, we can start extraction. Okay, and now it just does the reverse of what we did before. It's going to extract all the files into this folder. Okay, so it's complete. Okay, so at this point, we would go ahead and we would publish. Now, if you don't have an account yet, you need to create one at this point down here. Just fill out this information and then click publish down here and that'll set up your account for you. Otherwise you're just going to sign in up here. Okay at this point it's uploading the product for us to their servers. There we go. And this is going to take quite a while to accomplish. See about an hour here. Once it's up there we can go to the website and we can activate it and we can have it published so that it can be sent out as well.